Hey, what's up, YouTube? I uh, just thought I'd shoot a quick update video. Uh, I'm actually using a new camera. It's Actually, it's a new cell phone, uh, but it records in 1080p. It's my Windows phone, Lumia 920. Um, really liking this, the camera on this thing. This thing is pretty good. Um, but just as a quick update, wanted to go through some animals, tell you what's going on a little bit, and uh, give you another quick update. But uh, first thing I wanted to show you guys is my carpets. So I have this female jungle. She's been building pretty nicely. And I've had the male jagged with her every once in a while. And I haven't witnessed any locks yet. But who's to say that they haven't locked up and I just haven't seen it. So um, hopefully she goes. If she doesn't go, it's not too big of a deal. This is her first season. So not too worried about it. But uh, that's the carpets going right now. Also... <clears throat> I moved up this girl. This is my hypo head albino. So she's looking really good. I'm actually really glad I got some boas. Really digging the colors on her saddles. She's just she's really pretty. So that's her. And uh, quick update on this guy. It's my albino male. He's looking really good. He's holding his colors pretty nicely, actually, down towards his tail, as you can see. And then I'm not gonna pull this girl out, but I'll just show you her real quick. It's my pastel salmon. She's very, very clean. Actually, you know what? I am going to pull her out. So she's getting good size to her. Oh, if I can get her to let go of her hide. Let's see. She's getting pretty big. Really, really nice colors. Like I said, very clean. Really, really impressed with this girl. Really like the colors on her tail. So, that's her. And then another cool update that's not animals is I recently purchased this, came in. It's a ultrasound machine. So, um, waiting on some ultrasound gel before I can start ultrasounding some females, see where they're at in development. Uh, but I, I actually got this. The main purpose of this is to to kind of save the banana, so I don't overbreed him, so I can know when to put him in with females, so I'm not burning him out. And then I have this female. She's currently bowl wrapping. I know there's no water in the bowl. I'm actually going to go in through and water after this video. But uh, she's getting really, really big. She's been building really nicely. She's been bred to my pastel woma and the bumblebee a couple times. And then let's see. Actually got this girl in here. She's been building really nicely. This is my hep hide girl. And she will be, or she's been bred multiple times to my pied male. So just trying to see if I can uh, get some pieds out of her. But uh, I know a lot of people hear things about the, the track markers and stuff like that on pieds. I just wanted to show her. She's got some incredible markers if you haven't seen any before look at that belly so but that's her and then I have this girl who's actually getting good size she's probably still in shed yeah she's just coming out of shed she's getting close she's about 1150 grams if I can get her to 1200 grams uh, I might put a male with her just to see if she'll pick up eating and, and put on a little more weight. 
but uh, if she doesn't end up going, not that big of a deal either. So and then I have a bunch of other normals, some head albinos that are gonna, that are being bred, uh, head hypo that's being bred. Oh, I have this pair going on also. Oh, good, he's courting. So uh, I'm trying to get this little male to breathe. This is my little little calico male. He's a low white, and he's possible head for caramel. Um, you can see the whites coming in kind of on his sides right there. But uh, good, he, he's trying to get it. So, But he is breeding. This female is a, she's also a possible head caramel. So at the very least, I can get calicos. And then at the very best, it'd be pretty awesome to hit on a calico caramel. So that's that, and that's shedding from another male, See him, seeing if I can get him stimulated a little bit. Um, can't do a video without showing this guy, it's my banana. Let me pull this water bowl out just a sec. Sorry about the camera, guys. So this is him, nice close shot, great colors, loving this guy. Um, he's getting good size on him, he's actually about 350 grams right now. I believe he was almost 400 on in, while he was full. So, but I'm really, really liking this guy. Starting to get a little more flex, as you can see coming in there. But love this guy. I'm excited. And I think he's going to be able to go. So we'll see. I'd like to wait till he's at least at least 500 grams before I breed him. So we'll see. But I will. Um, I'll be putting him with a couple of females. I have a lemon blast female. That I think I've showed in another video. So he'll be going to her. I have a lesser female. If I can get her big enough, he'll go to her. He'll go to this cinnamon female. He'll definitely be going to this spider female right here. So she's in shed. And then he'll be going to this pastel girl. probably a couple of others we'll see what happens and then I have my Kenyans I'm not gonna pull them out but they're doing really well great eaters little garbage disposals and then I actually got this it's the last snake I'll do an update on and her cage needs to be cleaned but it's a little female jungle so, she is extremely nippy though, just like all jungles when they're little, I guess carpets in general. Whew, she almost got me. So, great feeder though. But, hope everybody's having a great breeding season. And, uh, if you have any specific videos you want to see, let me know. And comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.